One local museum is bringing history to life in a new exhibit. That's right. News Press Now, Sarah Rooney tells us more. How can we get people at the end of their tour wanting to still be here and listen to the story of the founder? This is the thought process that led Daniel Johnson, the executive director at Ruby Row Museum, to add two new exhibits. The Ruby Museum is the St. Joseph History Museum opened back in 1981. The museum offers many different exhibits. Exhibits about the Native Americans that were in the area, Lewis and Clark coming through, the Platte Purchase, uh, the Wagons West movement and Civil War. But it was after visiting a museum in Springfield that left Johnson eager to make a change. We took my children there and their eyes lit up as soon as they saw, you know, the integration of technology they understand with history. Johnson opened two new experiences with AI technology. The first called St. Joseph in Color. We use an AI program that would pick and choose little color notes in a black and white picture, uh, which sounds funny to say, but there are color notes in a black and white picture for you to pick up, and then colorizes it into modern day color to give people a chance to really experience what it really looked like. He expanded this exhibit to create an additional experience called Joe Comes Back. Um, we wrote up an entire you know, two-page speech for him, and then the AI would actually institute it into him speaking to our guests. In order to see the growth of our lovely town, I lived here in this room for the last 11 years. Johnson said he's always been interested in bringing this technology to the museum. I've always had a passion of giving people the ability to see St. Joseph, not through the light of, oh, it's an old picture, oh, it's an old time frame, but really understanding how it was when you were walking around on the streets. Both of these new exhibits are currently open to the public. Reporting for News Press Now, I'm Sarah Rooney. The Rubidoux Row Museum is open Wednesday through Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m.